So I wanted to talk about this passion of mine of food and the opportunity that a tool like blockchain and the IoT that we can build on top of the blockchain, uh, what it can bring to uh, the food industry. Over the last several days, we've had some really fascinating conversations about the different sectors that blockchain can really influence. And for me, I'm very passionate about this idea of food. And it's something that we have to consider, whether very directly, if you're in the industry or as a consumer, uh, how we're going to eat or how we're going to get food almost daily. I learned about blockchain about four and a half years ago from John Matonis of the Bitcoin Foundation. Uh, and soon after that, started working with the Bitcoin Foundation to produce uh, Bitcoin 2014. But after that, I started in 2015 to work with uh, procurement, uh, procurement groups. So I raised, uh, I created a group of about 350,000 people about procurement. And why I'm bringing this up is because I would speak with supply chain directors, CPOs, CEOs, about this idea of ah, there's this thing, blockchain. It can be really interesting for, for what you're trying to build. So quickly after that, the United Nations uh, released the Sustainable Development Goals. The UN created some, let's say, benchmarks, mission statements to solve issues for us as citizens of the world by the year 2030. This idea too, the lost profits, again, the inefficiencies of the supply chain and how the blockchain can, can solve this. The food waste, actually in the consumer at the point of sales, how we can become better educated and, and, and more efficient consumers, if you will. When you look at developing countries, how they can improve their, their harvest, the yields that they can get by this, the IoT technology and the sensors that we can build on top of the blockchain. And, and, and my panel is going to talk about this more. Uh, but if one third of the food is lost in the world, I think we can do better. So our friends at IBM and Walmart, the Frank, who's the head of their uh, food safety program, went into a conference room with a pack of mangoes and asked the team to track where those mangoes come from. In the old world, it took seven days, which is outrageous. With blockchain-enabled infrastructure, it took 2.2 seconds. You're saving lives, right? So these are real meaningful outcomes. So that when we start talking about nutrition, traceability, sustainability, food safety, there's this language that all of the different actors can communicate with, with a degree of understanding. So you can query the supply chain for information. What we do is we put a blockchain underneath the, those actors so that we can connect the farmer to the distributor, to the grocery store. And we do that either via sensors that we work with some of the best people in the industry like analog devices. They're a true partner that allow us to take a lot of readings from IoT devices inside of the supply chain. The food power plants uh, is, uh, is very easy to transport and manipulate and it's reducing this high, high amount of waste that we were just talking about that is lost in the in the agri food uh, in the agri food uh, value chain. It also lasts for a long time. Fresh food can be an eatable in a month or two, but with these food power plants, it can uh, be okay for two or three years. So it fulfills the target of uh, reaching more people and to, to fill the, the, the global population. We have to understand what is a digitalization. When we are in the physical properties of a good, we have the sensor, we have the network, with the transmission of all this data. And then what we do with this data? And the data is a platform, could be a good server, but it could be the blockchain. And what is the barrier actually is that people that don't, that don't just use the blockchain and the strengths that confuse with different applications. The, the largest problem is how to explain blockchain when there's already two or three new technologies at the same time. So I think when you go onto the internet and you go onto CNN.com, Amazon.com, the internet works as it was designed to work, right? Now you don't look at the HTML code behind the web page to see the moving parts. So if I try to show you what our ledger looks like, our blockchain and our smart contracts, it's like looking at a load of Linux scripts or HTML code. But it's the work and the tasks that these tools do behind the scenes. So I think what will happen is that you'll have blockchain sitting behind all of these different industries and you may not even know it. But you'll get the, the ramifications, the improvements in your information that you receive about this thing. Yeah, you could be